Social media algorithms optimize for user engagement, which means they aren't always aligned with a deeper notion of what people want. For example, in a study that we did on X a couple of years ago, we found that X's algorithm amplified angry, divisive content that when surveyed, users say they don't want to see. So how can we do better at optimizing not just for engagement, but also for user stated preferences? Probably the first reaction anyone ever has here is why would companies ever want to do this? In my personal opinion, we are far from the Pareto frontier. Algorithms are doing pretty good at engagement right now, but very poorly at stated preferences. So I do believe we could get a lot better at stated preferences without losing on engagement. Part of the reason people think you have to take a hit on engagement is that the signals we've had for stated preferences so far have been so limited. For example, think of buttons like see less often that people rarely use, and when they do, tell you very little, like why did the user want to say see less often? Luckily, we have a much better alternative now, natural language. I mean, imagine you could just say stuff like, don't show me political content after 9 p.m. or show me posts that teach me something and have your feeds update in real time. You would think we'd be able to do this with LLMs now, and indeed, we're seeing some cool papers start to explore natural language control of recommender systems. But we think there are still two key challenges. The first is how to balance engagement and state of preferences. For example, if a user who only watches K-drama says, I want a coming of age movie, then you probably shouldn't be recommending something like Call Me By Your Name. The second is how to do this in a computationally efficient way. You could directly use LLMs to re-rank the final items in a user's feed, but these are already like contaminated by the engagement-based filtering. Even consider queries like, I don't know, show me respectful posts from the other side. This kind of content just might not exist in the engagement-based feeds. So you really want the stated preference control to apply even at the initial retrieval stage when you're searching over billions of items. And for this, you can't just directly prompt LLMs. We have this new method called control rec in which we address both of these two challenges. One, how to balance engagement and state of preferences, and two, how to be computationally efficient enough to apply even at retrieval. In studies with letterbox users, we find that with control rec, users were more satisfied with their recommendations and felt more control over them, all without losing engagement in the form of movie likes. For more details, you can check out the paper, but overall, I think there are lots of cool ways to integrate natural language into our current recommender systems, and if we do so correctly, this might really improve user agency in a practical way.